Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. In today's video, we are gonna walk through how to build a testimonial to display on your website using the Frost WordPress theme. Now, testimonials are great because they allow you to build trust, establish credibility, and display kind words from previous clients or those who know you. Let's dig in. Okay, as you can see, we are looking at the testimonial patterns that come with the Frost WordPress theme. There are two sets of testimonials, one here, a little bit centered version. We've got the base and contrast variations, as well as down here, these are left aligned. They have uh, an avatar and these are a little bit different also coming in the base and contrast. So I am gonna go into my WordPress dashboard and I've got a page created called testimonials. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add a group block. I like to wrap all of my patterns inside of groups. It's just easier to uh, compartmentalize them. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna set this group block to max uh, to wide width and what that does is it spans the 1200 pixels which goes from here to here and kind of keeps it within that container i'm going to also close out this inner blocks thing and then inside of this i'm going to add a columns block because we want to have uh, three columns for our testimonial so we will select that and we've got the three columns started uh, first thing i'm going to do is uh, put the content in i'm going to do this we're going to add a paragraph this is the quotation mark i'm going to hit enter and for the sake of brevity i'm going to copy and paste the content here uh, so we've got that and then we've got allison taylor designer and so there we go uh, next thing i'm going to do is um, i'm going to select the column and we're going to change the background color to black uh, because that is what we're going to do. We're going to set the text to white. And so now we're kind of getting there. You can see uh, inside of each column, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of spacing. So I'm going to use the dimension controls over here. You can see we use the step spacing in Frost. Each one of these steps is 20 pixels uh, and it is fluid. So uh, in mobile view, that will sort of break down from 40 to a little bit smaller. So it's not quite as jarring on mobile view. So we've, we've sort of got what we're looking for here. Uh, what we wanna do is we wanna make the size of this a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna make that 72 pixels in size. And also uh, in the spirit of just trying to arrange the spacing, I'm gonna make this line height one uh, by default. You can see what happens there. Uh, by default paragraphs have 1.75 line height. And so in this way we can kind of keep this a little bit um, smaller. Now we're gonna go and center each one of these. And then I'm gonna hit update. We're gonna take a look at the front end to see what this looks like. And so uh, going back and forth, you can see we're kind of there. Uh, there's a little bit less spacing we wanna have here. So I'm gonna go in here. By default, uh, WordPress has what's called block gap and it adds uh, block gap in between every block. And so we've got three blocks here, you can see. and so. Um, this paragraph, I'm going to go to dimensions and margin because what this does is it allows me to change the top margin. Watch what happens as I slide this. And so I'm going to just set that margin to zero, which is essentially removing the block gap. And then coming back over here, uh, it looks like there's maybe a little bit less spacing um, above this one. So I will also change the margin top. Uh, we're going to go to the extra small, which is only 20 pixels. Now you can see here, this font is a little bit smaller. And so we're going to just go ahead and highlight this and go to font size. By default, medium is what is set for frost. We're going to make that down to small. And then we're going to hit update and see how things look. There we go. So now we've got what we want. And so we've got the other two parts uh, here as part of this column. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of a trick. Uh, what we can do here, instead of recreating all of these, uh, if you're gonna use this for a client site, you can go to these three little dots and hit duplicate. And what it does is it duplicates and adds the column. And then we'll go back and remove the extra ones that we haven't used. So I'm gonna just hit duplicate. Oops, gotta select the column. We're gonna hit duplicate, which it does. And then we're gonna duplicate it again which gives us the three that we want. Uh, it adds to the column, so it's easy to just go in and hit delete. And then I'm, 
update and we'll take a look at the front end and there we go. We've got the three columns that we want. Uh, we can just quickly uh, change the names. And then the other one was Rebecca Jones. I believe she was a coach. And Anthony was a developer. And of course you can change, we'll do update. And there we go. So we've got the first column set. Now you can see down here below, we've got also uh, a different version. Uh, in the spirit of showing you how this works, I'm gonna actually duplicate this group. And what it does, you can see here, is it just duplicates the group. And then we can undo the styling. So we'll go into here, we'll remove the background. And then we'll just go through each one, shouldn't take long. Last but not least, you can see, there we go. And on the example, there's a black border that sits around this. And so uh, the column block allows you to go here to styles. And then here you can select the border. We want to select uh, one pixel border. So we will do that as well. And last but not least, I'm going to hit update and you can see uh, we're getting there. So now we've got um, both the, the dark version and the light version. Now, if you wanted to get any a little bit snazzier, you could just change um, subtle background information if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, conversely, if you wanted to use a different color for the background, we Frost comes with a couple of colors, uh, you could do that. I'll just hit update so you can see what that looks like on the front end. Uh, and so you could just do varying uh, design styles here. Now, the next uh, set of patterns I'm going to show will be the ones down here. This is a little bit more complicated, not too hard, uh, but I will go ahead and show how those work. I'm going to go back and set these back. We'll go update. And so once again, I'm going to go down to the bottom of my page. I am going to create a group. We're going to set that group to wide width. Uh, disable this, that way we'll go the whole 1200 pixels. I'm gonna add the columns block and we're gonna go three columns again. And I will just copy what we've got here as a paragraph. We're gonna add another paragraph. And down here, it's a little bit different. So what we're gonna do down there is I'm going to add a row. And what this allows us to do um, is I'm just going to copy this image and see. There we go. So we've got the image copied. Now that's a very big image. And so I'm going to inspect this so we can see the dimensions on it. We've got 60 by 60. So we're going to take this and make this 60 by 60. Um, in fact, we're gonna, yep. And then we've got Allison Taylor and designer. And so inside of our row, we're gonna add a paragraph. So, and below that, we're gonna do, des oops, designer. Okay, so I'm gonna hit update. You can see what this looks like. This is a far cry from where we need to go. So uh, I'll walk, we, we'll walk through here how we're gonna do this. So uh, I'm gonna go select the column. We're gonna start by changing the background color uh, to dark. We're gonna make all of the text white and we're gonna go back and add our padding, 40 pixels all the way around. And uh, we're gonna change this font size to 72 as it was before as a reminder. We're going to change the line height. This helps with the spacing a little bit. Uh, this paragraph, we are going to remove the gap that gets added to it by setting the margin to zero. And so down here, we've got uh, some work to do. So I will hit update. We'll take a look here. Uh, so we're getting there. You can see uh, this is a little bit different. So 
Uh, first thing we're going to do is add border radius to the image. So we select the image and then come over here to the styles panel. Uh, we can 60. So this now gives us the circle. Now you can see here on this, we've got these two items stacked. Now the way a row block works, I will go into list view is uh, what it does is it takes all of the elements inside and you can do different types of justification. Now, because we want to uh, stack the name and the um, her title, I'm gonna actually multi-select these and we're gonna add them to a group so that they become one. You see what happens there? It groups them together. And so now inside of this row block, what I wanna do is get these items a little bit closer. And again, because of the block gap, we can go into the second one and select margin top. And we're gonna set that to zero. Uh, we wanna bold her name. I'm gonna hit update again. We can see where we're at. Okay, so we're a lot better than before. Uh, we're almost there uh, because of I'm going to I'm going to select this group and we're just going to change the line height to just give it a little bit um, less space in between 1.5 will help put them together. Uh, we may even select the group and go back and change the size of the typography, make it a little bit smaller. We'll see how things look. Now you can see the space here between the avatar and her name and title is big. That is also a uh, result of the block gap. And so that falls within this row. What it's doing is adding 30 pixels between the image and the group. And so we've got the row selected. We wanna come down here to block spacing. You can see as I slide this around, uh, I'm gonna slide it by default, it's 30 pixels, extra small is 20. So that gets us uh, a little closer to where we wanna be. And so there we go. Now we've got our testimonial and I believe that is how we want to have it. And again, we can go here to the column and duplicate the column. We'll do it one more time. We can delete the extra columns. I'm going to hit update and we'll go and see. Now we've got this testimonial the way that we want it. And as we did the last time, I'm going to duplicate the group so we can show the white version. I'm going to go into each a column and clear out the colors that I've assigned to it. Let's see what we're doing here. And this one uses a different image, so we'll just steal the dark image. Oops, I have to reset to 60 and 60. And we had this radius and we can easily just copy and paste this over. And then again, before we wrapped uh, this in a border, this is the column. We'll click update, we'll take a look at the front end. And now we've got our testimonials. Now, for instance, if you wanted to, let's just say, make four testimonials across, it's very easy to, to go into one of the columns and just duplicate it. You can see now we've got the four. Uh, maybe you want the font a little bit smaller. And you can see the block gap being applied here automatically by WordPress. Uh, that's the 30 pixels. So if we wanted to reduce that because we're trying to get a better fit here, we can go into the columns block, which is everything and you can come down here to block spacing. Uh, the columns block has two different uh, controls, top and bottom and right and left. So this top and bottom is when uh, in mobile view, when these stack, this will determine the distance between blocks as they're stacked. Uh, and this is the vertical view. So you can see that gets wider and maybe we wanna make it a little bit smaller and you can see how things look here. So there are very interesting ways that uh, we can build with WordPress. Uh, again, testimonials are great. You can demonstrate kind words from clients. You can validate uh, the work you've done. 
And there's just different ways to do this. And there's uh, scores of other ways to display testimonials, but these are the two sets that come with Frost. And uh, again, uh, easy to do and easy to customize and change colors, font sizes, and things like that, backgrounds, whatnot. And so I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and look forward to seeing what you build with Frost. Again, my name is Brian Gardner. I am principal developer advocate at WP Engine and love building with WordPress. Have a great day. Bye.